The Bible declares in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5 that we are children of light. We do not belong to darkness. We have no dealings with darkness. We have no business with darkness. Every soul under the dominion of darkness be liberated, be liberated, be liberated right now. Welcome everybody to another interactive prayer service with Brother Chris. My name's Gary and it's my privilege today to share the word of God with you before Brother Chris comes to pray. So if we have our Bibles, could we turn please to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, and I'm going to read the first five verses from verse 1 to 5. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the word to them. Some men came bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. And I just want to emphasize verse 5 there. When Jesus saw their faith, he said... Your sins are forgiven. Faith and forgiveness. I want you to tell anyone else who's with you there or tell everybody who's joined this interactive prayer service through Zoom, tell everyone faith and forgiveness. So again, tell your neighbor faith and forgiveness. Jesus saw their faith. And today, when Jesus is looking at each of us, he looks at our hearts, he sees our faith. He sees your faith today. Now, I know that each of us has a measure of faith, and we thank God for that measure of faith, which is itself a gift from God. If we did not have faith, we would not be here in this interactive service today. But I want to ask each of us a question. Is that a real faith? Or is it becoming a conventional or a religious faith? Now we know that the paralyzed man that we just read about in the Gospels and his friends, theirs was a real faith. Now one of the reasons we know that is they had to overcome real obstacles. Initially, it seemed impossible for them to get to Jesus. There was simply no room, but faith found a way. And a characteristic of real faith is that real faith grows with difficulties. Real faith feeds on challenges. It becomes stronger the more that there are difficulties. Whereas religious faith or conventional faith will look for the easier route. It will try to avoid those difficulties. And I believe the paralyzed man and his friends had no alternative at that stage. There was no alternative to Jesus. Jesus was the only one who could provide the solution for them. It's not that they could wait for another day. This was their appointed time and Jesus was the only one. No alternative. And this is another characteristic 
of real faith. The commitment of real faith is total, total commitment without alternatives. Whereas one can practice religious faith, conventional faith, as a hobby, where there are alternatives, where it's just one option in our pursuit of basically selfish goals. This reminds me of another scripture from the Old Testament, and I'll quickly read from the book of Senkel Chronicles, chapter 16 and verse 9, and you can check the passage later. The eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Let me read that once more. The eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Oh God is my prayer. Give me a heart. Let me have a heart that is fully committed to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the man who was paralyzed came to Jesus for healing. And as we read on in that passage in Mark, he received his healing, a wonderful miracle. But what did Jesus say to him first? He said, son, your sins are forgiven. You know, our greatest need is for forgiveness. Forgiveness makes the future possible. Forgiveness, even between human beings, paves the way for harmonious relationships, even with our enemies. Forgiveness from God paves the way to a harmonious relationship with our Creator. Forgiveness brings healing to the soul, healing to the heart. Our greatest need is divine forgiveness. So as we're preparing our own hearts now, as Brother Chris is about to come into our midst, let's thank Jesus Christ for his forgiveness. Through his forgiveness, we have peace with God. Through his forgiveness, we have peace of heart. Just thank God right now for his forgiveness. And if we've allowed anything to enter our heart in competition with God, in competition with Jesus Christ, if there's anything that we consider of greater value in our lives than him or of equal value, then ask God just to give you the grace right now to surrender it to him and receive that sweet release of having him as our all in all. What might it be that we allow to enter our heart and compete with God? It can be our own reputation. It could be our own comfort or possessions. It could even be another person. Anything which comes between us and God in our heart becomes an idol and prevents us from that total commitment which he is seeking out to bless. So right now, pray along with me. Oh, Holy Spirit. Again, oh, Holy Spirit. Take more of me. Again, take more of me, every part of me. And give me more of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So now as Brother Chris comes to join us, I'd like you to be praying that prayer point in your heart, that anointed prayer point that our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, gave to us. Oh, Holy Spirit, take more of me. Give me more of you. Greetings to you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe the message you have just received has 
positioned you to receive God's mercy and favor to attract his attention to your case today. Because that's the power of God's word. When that word enters into your heart, it changes your focus, shifts your attention from your situation to your savior. From your problem to your provider. From your condition to your comforter, Jesus Christ. Right now, take this opportunity from your heart to release forgiveness to anyone who has wronged you, offended you, hurt you. Release forgiveness right now because you are about to receive from the throne of grace. Take a moment to do that right now. Already, the environment here is saturated with the presence of God. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. And where can we go from his presence? Right now, people of God, in your home, he is there. In your heart, he is there. And I assure you, your case will not escape the anointing of the Holy Spirit today. People of God, before I've even started to pray, you can see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in the lives of people. That shows it's not me. It's not me that's at work. It is God. It is our Lord Jesus Christ at work right now. Get connected and receive. Right now, ask God to enter your life and put an end to whatever may hinder your prayer. Alors maintenant, demandez à Dieu d'entrer dans votre cœur et de mettre fin à tout ce qui bloque vos prières. Ahora mismo, pídele a Dios que entre en tu vida y que ponga un punto y final a todo aquello que está obstaculizando tu oración. Whatever mistake that is hindering your relationship with God be forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peu importe l'erreur qui bloque votre relation avec Jésus Christ, soyez pardonné au nom de Jésus Christ. Cualquier error que sea un obstáculo para tu relación con Dios, se perdonado ahora en el nombre de Jesucristo. People of God, the Bible declares in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5 that we are children of light. We do not belong to darkness. We have no dealings with darkness. We have no business with darkness. Peuple de Dieu, la Bible déclare dans le livre de 1 Thessaloniens 5, 5, que nous sommes les enfants de la lumière. Nous n'avons aucune affaire avec la, les ténombres. Pueblo de Dios, comme dice la Bible en 1 de Thessalonicenses, capítulo 5, versículo 5, que somos hijos de la luz y no tenemos nada que ver con la oscuridad. Every soul under the dominion of darkness. Be liberated! Be liberated! Be liberated right now! Tout esprit sous la l'emprise des ténèbres, soyez libérés! Libérés! Toda alma que esté bajo el dominio de la oscuridad, ahora mismo, se liberada, se liberado en el nombre de Jesucristo. Every spirit under the bondage of darkness, be released! Be released! Be released right now! Tout esprit sous la servitude des ténèbres, soyez libérés, libérés maintenant. Todo espíritu que te mantiene atado a la oscuridad, a las tinieblas, sé liberado, sé liberado en el nombre de Jesucristo. That nightmare is darkness. That sickness, disease, affliction, it is darkness. That failure is darkness. I command you to come out of the darkness right now. Ce cauchemar, cette maladie, ces échecs, c'est le, le, le péché. Soyez libérés. 
esa pesadilla, esa enfermedad, esa aflicción, ese fracaso le pertenece a la oscuridad ahora mismo le ordeno fuera, fuera en el nombre de Jesucristo. That generational curse, it is darkness. That stagnation is darkness. That frustration is darkness. Come out of the darkness right now. Out, out, out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cette maladie générationnelle, c'est les ténèbres. Alors sortez, sortez au nom de Jésus-Christ. Esa maldición generacional es oscuridad. Ese estancamiento es oscuridad. Esa frustración es oscuridad. Ahora mismo, fuera, sal, sal en el nombre de Jesucristo. Right now, every pain and every poison that is hiding in your system, lurking in your system, I say, be exposed. Be exposed, be exposed right now. Maintenant, toute peine, tout poison qui se cache dans vos systèmes, je dis, soyez exposés, exposés maintenant. Ahora mismo, todo dolor, todo veneno que se esté escondiendo en tu sistema, sea expuesto, sea expuesto en el nombre de Jesucristo. Be flushed out right now. Vomit out that poison. Vomit out that affliction. Vomit it out of your system, out of your organs. Out of your faculties, you will receive your healing today. Alors, expulsez-le, vomissez cette maladie, vous allez recevoir votre guérison aujourd'hui. Ahora mismo comienza a expulsar todo veneno, vomita, vomita, todo veneno, toda aflicción en tus órganos, en tu sistema, en tus facultades, ahora mismo vomítalo. If there's any area of your body where you are experiencing pain, touch that area by faith right now. Touch that area by faith right now. Alors s'il y a des parties de votre corps là où vous avez la douleur, touchez cette partie maintenant par la foi. Ahora mismo por fe comience a tocar toda área en tu cuerpo donde estés experimentando ese dolor, esa aflicción en el nombre de Jesús. You sickness, you disease, you affliction, whatever name you are called, I say to you, get out right now. Out of their lives, out of their systems, their faculties, their organs. Get out right now. Toi, maladie, affliction, peu importe ton nom, je te dis, sors maintenant de leur vie, de leur santé, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo, toda enfermedad, toda affliction, ou cualquier nombre que tenga, le digo, fuera, fuera de tus órganos, fuera, fuera de tus facultades, de tus vidas, en el nombre de Jésus-Christo. Let there be life, life in your organs, life in your faculties, life in your system. Receive the life of Christ right now. Qu'il y ait la vie dans votre, dans votre santé, la vie dans votre corps, qu'il y ait la vie au nom de Jésus-Christ. Que haya vida, que haya vida de Jésus-Christ en tus órganos, en tu sistema, que haya, que venga la vida de Jésus-Christ. If you're having the picture of a family member who is sick, hold it by faith right now. The Holy Spirit is at work. The Holy Spirit is moving, moving in power right now to bring healing and freedom. Alors si vous avez la photo d'un membre de famille qui est malade, prenez cette photo. Le Saint-Esprit travaille maintenant. Il est là, il agit. Ahora mismo si tienes una fotografía de un familiar que esté enfermo, sosténla en tu mano ahora porque el Espíritu Santo está obrando y se está moviendo en medio de nosotros. Right now, I proclaim healing to your spirits, healing to your soul, healing to your body. Be healed, be healed, be healed right now. Maintenant, je déclare la guérison dans vos cœurs, dans vos esprits. Soyez guéris, guéris au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo proclamo sanidad en tu espíritu, sanidad en tu alma, sanidad en tu cuerpo. Sé sanado en el nombre de Jésus-Christo. Whatever demonic attack that manifests itself in the form of sickness and disease in your family, I declare deliverance right now. Be free, free, free in Jesus' name. 
Maintenant, toute forme démoniaque, toute attaque démoniaque qui se manifeste par la maladie, alors je déclare, soyez libérés, libérés au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo, todo ataque démoniaque qui se manifeste en forme d'enfermedad en tu famille, déclaro, libération, se libérado, se libérado en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. Right now, whatever you have eaten in the dream from the table of the adversary that is causing backwardness, sickness in your life, I say be flushed out, be flushed out right now, out in the name of Jesus Christ, vomit it out right now. Alors maintenant, tout ce que vous avez mangé dans vos rêves, à la table de l'ennemi, je dis, soyez expulsés, vomissez-le maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo, todo lo que hayas comido de la mesa del enemigo, ahora mismo, sea retroceso, sea enfermedad, ahora mismo, sea expulsado, sea expulsado, vomítalo, vomítalo en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. There are many of us today that have found ourselves caught up in this seemingly endless cycle of failure and limitation in our families enough is enough i say unto you today is your day of breakthrough alors beaucoup d'entre nous se retrouvent dans ce cercle euh, d'échec mais aujourd'hui est votre jour de libération au nom de jésus christ y muchos de nosotros hemos estado en el mismo ciclo, cayendo en el mismo ciclo de fracaso en nuestra familia, pero ya es suficiente porque hoy es tu día de progreso. Whatsoever the devil has stolen, taken from your career, from your finances, from your promotion, I say be restored right now. Be restored, restored, restored. Restored right now. Maintenant, tout ce que Satan a volé dans vos carrières, dans vos finances, je déclare, je dis, soyez restaurés, restaurés, maintenant. Todo lo que el enemigo haya quitado, haya tomado de tu carrera, haya robado tu promesión, ahora mismo, sea restaurado, sea restaurado en el nombre de Jesucristo. That which is required for your marriage to be made whole. Be restored right now. Ce qui est requis pour votre pour que votre mariage soit restauré, allez, soyez restauré maintenant. Todo aquello que se requiere para que tu matrimonio sea completo, sea restaurado en el nombre de Jesucristo. That which is required for your career to be made whole. Be restored right now. Alors, ce qui est requis pour que votre carrière soit restaurée, soit restaurée maintenant. Eso que se requiere para que tu carrera sea completa, sea restaurada en el nombre de Jesucristo. That which is required for your family to be made whole, be restored right now. Ce qui est requis pour que votre famille soit restaurée, allez, soit restaurée maintenant. Y todo lo que se requiere para que tu familia sea completa, sea restaurado en el nombre de Jesucristo. People of God, as you maintain an attitude of prayer, you can see the Spirit of God is still working in the lives of His people all over the world. Continue to open your heart and receive from the anointing that is available. Alors, peuple de Dieu, alors que vous voyez que le Saint-Esprit est en train de travailler euh, dans le monde, continuez d'ouvrir vos cœurs et recevez au nom de Jésus-Christ. Sigue et continue en une attitude d'oration. Et mira comme le Saint-Esprit santo sigue obrando en todo el mundo. Recibe, recibe la unción que está disponible en este momento. Right now, if you are having the flag of your nation, I want you to hold it as a contact point and let us pray for the whole world. Alors maintenant, si vous avez le drapeau de votre pays, je vous demande de le prendre comme un point de contact et prions pour le monde entier. Ahora mismo, si tienes la bandera de tu nación, por favor, sosténla en tu mano y comencemos a orar por todo el mundo. The world is in trouble. And our only hope is in God. 
right now, begin to plead for the mercy and favor of God for your nation. Open your lips with faith in your heart and ask God to locate your nation in his mercy and favor. Let us pray. Alors, le monde est en danger. Notre seul espoir est Dieu. Alors maintenant, implorez la miséricorde de Dieu pour votre nation. Y el mundo está en tribulación y la esperanza solo está en Dios. Así que comienza a clamar por la misericordia y el favor de Dios para con tu nación, que localice a tu nación. The Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation. Ask God to impart the spirits of wisdom unto your leaders that they may rule the affairs of your nation in righteousness and in the fear of the Lord. Alors la Bible dit que la sainteté élève une nation. Alors maintenant demandez à Dieu la grâce pour que votre leader reçoive cette sainteté afin que votre nation puisse être élevée. Y la Biblia dice que la justicia exalta a la nación. Así que pide porque para que tu nación pueda recibir la sabiduría y los líderes puedan recibir la sabiduría para poder hacer todo con justicia y de acuerdo a la voluntad de Dios. Right now, people of God, I want you to ask God to strengthen your faith for the journey ahead. Ask him right now to strengthen, strengthen your faith for the journey ahead. Alors maintenant, peuple de Dieu, je vous demande, demandez à Dieu qu'il fortifie votre foi pour le parcours à venir. Ahora mismo, pídele a Dios que fortalezca tu viaje, tu vida de fe, lo que está por delante en el nombre de Jesús. Ask him to give you the grace to abide in his word and adhere to his will. Alors demandez à Dieu la grâce de rester dans sa parole et d'adhérer à sa volonté. Ahora mismo pide a Dios que te dé esa gracia para habitar en su palabra y para que se haga solo su voluntad. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, nous avons prié. Et en le nom de Jésus-Christ, oramos. People of God, I want to tell you right now, I can see you set free from the prison of failure. I can see you set free from the prison of sickness and disease. I can see you set free from the prison of nightmares and bondage. Rejoice in your freedom right now. Peuple de Dieu, je peux vous voir être libéré de la prison, de l'échec et de la maladie. Allez, réjouissez-vous maintenant. Pueblo de Dios, puedo ver que están siendo libres y son ya libres del fracaso, de la enfermedad. Ya son libres. Regocíjate, regocíjate. Those of you who are having health challenges, I want you to check yourself. Rise up and check yourself to the glory of God right now. Because you are free, you are healed, you are restored. Alors pour ceux qui ont des problèmes de santé, je vous demande, allez, vérifiez-vous, consultez-vous maintenant. Vous êtes libérés, vous êtes restaurés. Ahora mismo comienza a revisarte para la gloria de Dios. Comienza a revisar tu cuerpo porque eres libre, eres restaurado en el nombre de Jesús. Yes, let today's service be an inspiration to you to love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, to love him above all, for that is the sure path to a lasting solution. Oui, peuple de Dieu, que ce service d'aujourd'hui soit une inspiration pour que vous puissiez aimer Jésus-Christ de tout votre cœur, toute votre âme, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Pueblo de Dios, que le service de hoy soit de inspiration pour amar à Dieu avec tout ton cœur, avec toute ta mente et avec toutes tes forces. Amarlo pour sobre toutes les choses. Viewers all over the world, listen to this. Your 
presence eyes may see the situation around you, but the eyes of faith can see solution in Jesus Christ. Your, your present eyes may see darkness, but the eyes of faith can see the lights. Right now, I say, let the eyes of your faith be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light right now. Light in your home. Light in your health. Light in your finances, your business, your career. Let there be light. Whatever chains of darkness that the devil has used to connect himself to your projects. I declare freedom right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed from that bondage in your life. Be delivered from that yoke in your business. Be healed from that sickness in your system. Be liberated from that poverty in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wow. I can sense God's deliverance touching you, touching your case right now. I can see the lights. Rejoice in the lights of your freedom and walk in the lights of your testimony because it is well. My name is uh, Epiding from Kenya. I wish to give God the glory for what he has done for me uh, in today's uh, prayer and interactive session with Brother Chris. I started sensing the power of God as he was coming in and I felt it going down my spine that I had a problem for so many years, seven years plus. For the last seven years, the pain in the spine has never subsided, and especially the one that has been very severe on the neck that had forced me even to use this neck collar. In the today's interactive prayer session, I had a, a visitation from God, he sensed his own power going down my spine, and the pain disappeared. Since I have received the healing, for my back and the spine, I wish uh, to, to state categorically that I do not need again to use this neck collar. Now I am able to even to turn my neck, something that I was not able to, to do, I can even do that. Things that are difficult for me to, to do, I can be able to turn. Thank you very much, oh God. And I also need to thank uh, my brother Chris and the God at TV team for the way God is using them to reach the suffering world. I also received my healing immediately, brother Chris. He was praying. My back was not well. I was not even able to, to bend, but now I can bend. I thank God and I give him the, all the glory. Mi nombre es Rodríguez Avila, mi Ortiz, yo soy, soy de México, yo sufría de problemas asmáticos, estos este es el aparato y son los medicamentos que solía utilizar antes. Y esto en, en la oración interactiva fue lo que saqué. Y pues después ya me siento mucho mejor, ya puedo respirar mucho mejor de lo que antes y pues le doy gracias a Dios y también por usar a su siervo el hermano Cris allá por donde esté y pues cuando esté la prueba de que sí respiro bien
My name is Madidi Mala Esther Mudiba from South Africa. During the interactive prayer with Brother Chris, I felt the power of God. Then I started screaming and I saw myself down on the floor. And I don't know then what happened and I started vomiting blood with mucus substances. Now I'm free, I'm delivered. I was having pain before, now my headache, I was having sinuses and I'm no longer having pain. I'm free, even on my stomach I was having pain, now I'm free, I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Miriam, I'm in the UK uh, with a lot of ailments at my age. I started vomiting on the night that I actually read my email from God's TV to say that I was going to participate in the interactive prayers. The vomitors or the poisonous stuff that actually came out of me today. My illness actually abandoned me. I got a surprise today because these children have never been reciprocating or, you know, responding to my um, messages. I got a message back from them and they are telling me that they miss me, which is quite a miracle because for more than two years, three years, I've not heard from this girl. So I thank God for locating me. I thank God for using Brother Chris. Uh, my name is Stanley Dakes. I'm recording this uh, video from the, from the US. Uh, I went to the hospital and the doctor, they diagnosed me having ulcer. So these are some of the medication I've been taking. And also I was dealing with a back problem. So I used to use this to, you know, tie my, uh, tie my back, it's got a lumbar corset. And also I also had a knee problem where I used this to tie my knee. So what I decided to do was that I basically uh, get involved in uh, Brother Chris uh, prayer so I would say five minutes before he, uh, how you call it, came, I started feeling really dizzy and really weak. I couldn't even control myself. I couldn't even do nothing. So in the presence of him praying, uh, I felt like spitting. And uh, this is what I did spit out. And then I'll say uh, when he was done praying five minutes later, I kind of, you know, got myself again. I believe that God have used him to basically got me rid of every stuff that was not right in my life whether it was physical or spiritual i really do appreciate everything and i say i thank god for this moment before it was it was going to be hard for me to just say i want to bend down like this but now i can bend down i can move my knees i can move my knees i can move my knees yeah i'm feeling much good now bonjour uh, god health tv je suis uh, thierry de la guadeloupe Je remercie Dieu pour euh, sa grâce euh, dans ma vie, merci de sa miséricorde. Je sentais dans mon corps qu'il y avait dans mon corps qu'il y avait des choses et euh, que j'avais besoin de délivrance hein, et, et ça me gênait pour, ça me gênait pour ma vie spirituelle. Et pendant pendant le moment de prière avec le frère Chris, j'ai vu que j'ai vomi j'ai vomi beaucoup de choses, des substances, il y avait du sang. Et je remercie le Seigneur de ce qu'il m'a délivré, qu'il m'a libéré. My name is Happy from USA. The problem that brought me to God's Heart TV is that I have been having inflammation and pain in my bone. And during the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris, I feel a hot sensation all over my body. And after the prayers, I don't feel that inflammation or pain in my body anymore. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Doy gracias a Dios y la gloria sea a Dios por este día, por la oración interactiva, por la liberación. Eh, mientras estaba orando, el profeta Cris empezó a orar por la liberación. Empecé a sentir un movimiento fuerte en mis manos, fuerte, 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 que empezó a moverse en mi cuerpo y sentí como, no sé cómo fui a la pared y golpeó mi cabeza y caí al piso, empecé a escupir, a escupir, a escupir y le daba gracias a Dios porque me siento más ligera, más liviana 
en las rodillas, me sonaba, me empezaba ya últimamente a doler, a sonar las rodillas, y me siento bastante ligera y más liviana, y doy gracias a Dios por la vida del profeta Cris, que Dios ha puesto en su corazón, orar por el mundo entero para recibir liberación, sanidad y salvación para nuestra alma. Y bendigo al ministerio en el nombre de Jesús. My name is Grace Yante. I live in the UK. I have suffered from rat ache for quite some time now, to the point that I have had epidural administered directly on my spine and has continuously um, taken pain medication just for me to get on with my day-to-day -day life. When Brother Chris came in a few minutes onto the, 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 onto the, the prayer session, I felt a warmth at my back, so I took the braces off, and that was it. God has visited us in ways unexplainable. I could bend down and up, down and up without any restrictions or fear of injuring my back. I would do so with this support braces, but as you can see, there is no restrictions at my back whatsoever at all. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Harriet from Canada. So before the interactive prayer, I was having a high blood pressure. I was having hip pain. I was having back pain because I was doing workout and I injured my my hip. So I was having a lot of pain on my hip and my right leg, the nails were a lot of pain. I was having a lot of pain there and my back too was aching all the time. I thought of going for hip replacement because it, the pain was so severe all the time. After the prayer, I discovered that my blood pressure has dropped and uh, then the, the hip pain disappeared, the back pain disappeared and my joints pain, everything disappeared. My The pains on my chest, everything got disappeared. You know, everything is gone. I'm so light. I'm so light. After the prayer, I didn't see any result. I was like, oh, maybe the prayer didn't work for me. So I went to bed. When I woke up, that was when I discovered, oh, my whole body was, it's like I, I God cleansed my whole body. Everything, all the pain was gone. I just give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, my name is Maria Luisa. Hi, my name is Maria Luisa. Insiste oração. We attended the interactive prayer. Com o irmão With Brother Chris. Chris e tinha vista borroso, 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 toda escuro, mas depois da de oração, minha vista fica claro, 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 um satoja, claramente. She, she said that before the prayer, her vision was very, very blurry, you know, like very, like dark, and then after the prayer, her her vision with brother Chris her vision is clear very 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 clear graças a Deus she says she thanks God graças Jesus Cristo Jesus Christ graças Espírito Santo e graças irmão irmão Chris and thank you to, bro to brother Chris my name is Aida Montrita I'm from Botswana I had a problem with my shoulders under my armpits, there was such immense pain. I couldn't even lift up my 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 hands properly. At night, it was very difficult even to turn over. When the interactive prayer was going on, I felt a stirring on my my tummy, and something just was lifted up on my navel area and going up, and I felt like uh, vomiting. But I didn't vomit until ten minutes after the. The, the end of the prayer and then I suddenly felt at peace I was I was excited I was jubilant now my I could lift up my hands as you see I could this one I could not even do like this but I could do that like this I could I could I could I would lift up I could do it. thank you so much Pastor Chris for allowing God to use you into our lives I believe that um, the interactive prayers are God sent for liberation of the whole world Hola mis hermanos este es un video para demostrar la sanidad que recibí mis rodillas y la bendición para salir de toda oscuridad 
estaba yo oprimido con un dolor en las rodillas, no me podía agachar, ahora ya me puedo agachar, no sé si se puede ver, me puedo agachar, no me duele y especialmente en la parte de oscuridad de mi vida que siento una luz, un fuego de Dios por parte de las oraciones que recibí y la fe que tengo que es para la salvación de nuestras almas. Muchas gracias mis hermanos. I was opportunity to you know uh, be part of the interactive prayer with brother Chris when he just stood in front of the screen I said before he even started praying you know for the viewers I started shaking my head started shaking I couldn't explain what was happening exactly you know um but I felt the move of God in me I felt that something was moving out of my body I also felt like I needed to release mucus from my nose, from my nasal cavities because um, I used to have sinusitis and after that I felt so relieved. I felt like my nasal cavities were open. Also I felt like I needed to cough a lot. There was just something, an operation was going on in my body and I praise God for that. I feel so relieved. I feel so um, um, delivered. People of God, I believe you have seen for yourself how God moves. You know, I couldn't believe it myself. I had to watch the video that I was um, recording again during the uh, deliverance. And I couldn't believe it was me, really. Like, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Brother Chris, for letting God use you and your team in God's Heart TV. My name is Sandra and this is my daughter Hope and we are from St. Lucia. During the prayer, I felt a heat. I started manifesting. I also vomited some white sub poisonous substance. Now I feel free in my spirit and I believe that through the interactive prayer session today that I am free I am healed, I am delivered. My name is Nicholas and I am from Zimbabwe. I joined the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris because I had been having unexplained abdominal pains for the last two years. And I wanted to testify that the abdominal pains are now gone and my healing has come. Thank you, Brother Chris and God's Heart TV. God bless you. I am Okelo Patrick from Uganda. When the man of God, Brother Chris, came in, when he started his prayer, I saw light coming into my life. And I feel, I feel fire burning my ear. My ear being burned by, with the fire. Fire, my eyes, everywhere, all over my body. I found myself started shaking uncontrollably. The Spirit of God came and started delivering me. And I started vomiting seriously. I vomited many things for the glory of God, as you can see from God. God has delivered me from every curse. God has delivered me from every bondage. I am free for the glory of God. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Celeste from the USA. And I just thank God for God's Hearts TV. I thank God for allowing me to participate in a lot of prayer. Prior to the prayer, I was feeling a lot of anxiety in my chest and pain. I was feeling um, headaches and, and some pain in my stomach area. During the prayer, I was feeling this tightness on the back of my neck. I started feeling tightness in my throat and my head was feeling pressured and my stomach was feeling sick. And then all of a sudden I just felt this warmth, this heat just coming through my body. And then I started feeling this heat down in my chest and in my left arm and right arm to my stomach. And then I started to feel this sickness and I started to vomit. And this is what I threw up. After throwing up um, all that mucus, that immediately the headache went away. Immediately the pain in the back of my neck and in my throat went away. 
immediately that anxiety that I was feeling in my chest went away and my stomach just started to feel light. And I just thank God for delivering me and healing me completely. Good morning. I joined the interactive prayer this afternoon and I was feeling my left shoulder was, it was in pain. But after that prayer, my left shoulder just, it stopped. It just stopped hurting, the pain was gone. So I thank God for the healing and thank you, Jesus. I was also feeling good morning. I was also, there was pain. I had pain in my right shoulder. I thank God for healing. After the prayer with Brother Chris, my right shoulder, I'm not feeling any pain anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hola, mi nombre es Margarita. Soy de México. Y puedo dar testimonio de que la oración interactiva con el hermano Chris fui liberada. Yo tenía secuelas de COVID y no podía yo respirar profundamente. Ya lo puedo hacer y ya puedo hablar bien. Y saqué estas sustancias mientras oraban por mí. Y también en medio de la oración fui lanzada hacia atrás y por el espíritu entendí que fui liberada. Gracias, Señor Jesús. Gracias, Señor, por la vida de tu siervo, Chris. My name is Luvuyo. I wrote to God's Heart TV for a prayer request because I've been experiencing difficulty in my life. I am still studying and um, I, I noticed that um, I, I feel very discouraged on doing my work. I feel very lazy to wake up in the morning and also attending my classes to even study for exams. I would feel very lazy and, and come up with excuses and, and rather do something else, uh, either watch movies or or play games or whatever that would not have to do with schoolwork. During the prayer with Brother Chris, I started feeling, um, I started feeling like something wants to come out. And every time when he prayed, saying, um, "I release you in the name of Jesus," and vomited out, I then started vomiting substances, brown um, substances, and also vomiting um, mucus as well. And after the prayer, in the um, past three days, I feel much more better now. I wake up in the morning, um, I'm interested to do my, my school work, I'm, I'm also looking forward to my future, I'm applying to other programs as well, I'm also doing my, my school work as I'm sitting right now, I'm, I'm busy completing my, my assignment and I'm just very excited and looking forward to, to the future. Uh, hello, uh, thank you for praying, uh, Brother Chris praying for us and all other people who prepare this program and uh, I thank the Lord I feel uh, more better I feel light inside and uh, this this part and here and here uh, was difficult to or walking or when you see it and it was painful painful when I walking and uh, when I walk or when I work uh, every day so at, uh, at the moment I feel a little bit pain, but uh, it's not big that was before. Thank you and glory be to Jesus. My name is Pat from South Africa. I had a lump under my skin on my cheek for more than 10 years. Two months ago it began to swell and became painful and it got to a point where it developed an abscess. I was privileged to be part of the interactive prayer with Brother Chris. During the prayer meeting, Brother Chris asked everyone who felt pain to touch wherever the pain was. When I touched, I felt an unusual heat all over my body for about 30 seconds. And uh, praise God, the next morning when I touched the wound, I felt that there was nothing anymore inside and the wound is closed, it is healed, 
My name is Hilia. I am from Namibia. I want to thank God for making it possible for me to be part of this prayer session with Brother Chris. During the prayer, I started itching in my eyes, like there is chili in my eyes. It was very, very itchy. And then my body started vibrating uncontrollably. I could not control. It was vibrating so much. And then later on, I started vomiting. Um, this is what I have vomited. I have vomited and I started coughing. My chest was always so heavy, but now I feel so light. I have always have headaches. Now my, my head uh, feels light. I've always have nightmares. I have had failure, stagnation in my life, rejection, but I feel free to the glory of God. My name is Ernesto from Mozambique. I was feeling a severe neck pain. And uh, after Brother Chris said, touch where you feel pain, and I touched on my neck because I couldn't move either. I have difficulties to move either to right or left. And uh, after the, the prayer, I was, I was healed. So thank you, Jesus, for the healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is David from Cape Town, South Africa. In the year 2020, I contracted COVID-19 and after my COVID-19, I started experiencing headaches, chest pains and some weakness on, on my hands and my knees. And today, after the, uh, during the interactive prayer, I vomited these poisonous substances here. And after vomiting these poisonous substances, I don't feel chest pains anymore, no headaches, weakness of the knees and hands are gone. Thank you Lord Jesus for healing me through Brother Chris. I can move my hands freely. I can move my feet freely. I don't have any problem. My name is Tobe Kapatrosiam Lauti from South Africa, Cape Town. I had headaches, uh, chest pains, body pains, and knee pains. During the prayer, this is what I vomited. And I also had, during the pr prayer, I had like flash, hot flashes, and uh, I had a uh, weakness of the body. And now I can, I can do this, I can do this. I'm, I'm, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Brother Chris. Praise the Lord. My name is Rofaro. I am based in Dubai. Before Brother Chris actually came on to pray for us, I had already started feeling the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. My body was shaking uncontrollably. And when we were being prayed for, I was snorting, snorting, snorting uncontrollably. I couldn't control it. And at some point, I fell on the ground, started shaking uncontrollably, especially my legs. My legs were shaking so uncontrollably. So that is just the power of God that I experienced today, the move of the Holy Ghost. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you so much, Brother Chris, for allowing yourself to be God's vessel. And everybody who supports Brother Chris, be blessed in Jesus' name. I'm Jacinta from Nairobi, Kenya. I was privileged to be on the prayer my name is Miara Dinube. I'm a Zimbabwean living in South Africa. I, I want to thank God before the interactive prayer. I received the message informing me that I'll be part of the interactive prayer and i've been having problems in my marriage i've been having problems there was no communication we we're fighting i thought my marriage was going to break but ever since the day i received that message 
she started communicating with me she started we started talking we started talking like husband and wife and uh, i really want to thank god after the interactive prayer i when brother chris prayed for us i i used to encounter like uh, nightmares in my life i used to have bad dreams in my life but ever since i received that uh, interactive prayer I, I i i i i those nightmares were gone i i was okay i slept like a baby and uh, i really want to thank god my name is alice nyangwe i'm a malawiani residing in the uk and the problem which brought me to the god's heart tv was a problem with joint pains difficulty in walking so i was finding it difficult to walk but soon after the prayer from brother crazy all the pains left from my left leg Ankle. I thank you Jesus for my healing. Mi nombre es Daisy Barona Ulloa. Le doy gracias al Señor porque eh, cuando hicieron la oración interactiva, yo estaba llevaba tres días con dolores en el pecho, en el corazón sentía como que si tuviera un puñal metido allí y como que se torcía y me daba mucho dolor y me impedía hacer las cosas en la casa y todo. Y cuando pidieron la oración, hicieron la oración, yo pedí sanidad para, para mí y realmente Dios ha sido más que bueno que instantáneamente recibí liberación y sanidad completa. Le doy gracias a Dios por el ministerio. Ricas y abundantes bendiciones, mis hermanos. Thank God for the prayer session with Brother Chris. My name uh, is Mapado Maplanga. I'm from Zambia. Yes, uh, before the interactive prayer, uh, I had difficulties with breathing on, on my chest, in my chest. I had difficulties with uh, inhaling hair. Now I, um, I feel very fine after vomiting uh, this poisonous substance. I feel, I feel fine and thank God for that. Amen. My name is Yolanta and I'm from Namibia. During the interactive prayer with Brother Chris, I just felt a hot sensation all over my body. And now I'm feeling so light, this light everywhere, I'm feeling so light. And maybe I also, I, I vomited some stuff there. But now I'm feeling, I'm feeling very great. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, son of David. Thank you. My name is Jira Sanko. I'm originally from Thailand. My name is Andrew Cook and I'm from the UK. Thank you so much for inviting us to join the service. During the service, I vomit. Something come out like a white water. And I believe I have received my freedom and blessing today in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Teresia from Tanzania. I thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be involved in the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris. Before the prayers, I used to have pain on my abdomen. The pain was severe. I could use the painkillers. The pain, the relief could just be temporarily. Then after some time, the pain could just recur again. But after the prayer, I am pain free. The pain, yeah, the pain is gone. I am free again. I thank you, Jesus. I pray the Almighty God for my healing. My name is Yvonne Cantina from Zambia. Today, I, had, I was privileged to join the prayer interactive prayer session for Brother Chris. Oh my God! It was a wonderful experience. I feel free. Before the prayer, I was feeling. Will I be delivered? I was feeling just somehow, certain people, you want to be delivered, you want to receive you what? I was even feeling as though I'm carrying a heavy load. My head was, I don't know how I can explain it, as though I'm carrying a, maybe 50 packets of, um, of cement on my head, and my body was like it was, I was carrying an extra bodies. During the prayer, I just felt a hot sensation. Just when the prayer finished, I could feel that as though I don't have any bone, I feel free. Everything is free. I can feel it within me. My name is Kelsey, all the way from Namibia. I was privileged enough to partake in the interactive prayer with Brother Chris. During the interactive prayer, 
my body felt like it was in chains it felt like i was burning from the top of my head to the soles of my feet to my hands to my ears but i thank god that i've been set free may god bless you all <laughs> my name is lydia mtonga chanda i'm a zambian uh, during the prayer interactive prayer session with the uh, pastor chris um something new happened in my life I felt like he, someone was telling me breathe life and breathe, breathe just keep on breathing in. So I kept on breathing in. There's a certain um, limitation in my in my breath. There was like a certain pain or barrier. While I, I was breathing in, it kept extending as if my lungs are being cleared. They, it kept on until it entered into my stomach, feeling the same feeling, and then that's when the saliva started coming out and I felt free, completely free. I am now breathing freely like this. <sighs> my hair, I can feel the, the hair moving freely in my lungs and coming out. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus.